Hi everyone, Rabbi Rosen here, hoping all is well with you, wishing you a Shabbat Shalom and a somewhat early Rosh Hashanah reading of Shana Tova Umetuka. Let it be a good and sweet year for you and yours. The term whistleblower has been in the news a great deal lately, and it is a very unique concept if you think about it, to have a way for those in lesser authority to report safely about the possible wrongdoing of higher ups. But a whistle, if you use a bit of imagination, also finds expression in Judaism, especially in the shofar. After all, many of its sounds are shrill and loud, as if hearing a whistle blown, not to complain about others, but to find reason to change and better ourselves. There's a story also I'd like to share with you about little Moshe. You may have heard it in a slightly different version, but the idea, I think, is the same. It was Rosh Hashanah time in the little village, and all of the townsfolk were busy preparing for the holiday. There was cooking and cleaning, and of course, the examining of their own individual souls. Each year there would be people who would come to compete for the great privilege of leading the prayers for the village. They would demonstrate how beautiful their voices were, how knowledgeable they were about the machzor, the prayer book, because after all, it was a great honor to lead services there. Rabbi Menachem, the leader of the village, was listening to them, practicing and arguing with each other over who should be chosen. Then one day, he was awakened by the sound of a shrill whistle. When he went outside to find the source, he saw a little boy blowing that whistle with all of his might. Rabbi Menachem asked the boy, Moshe, what he was doing and said the boy, I am so thankful to God for everything I have, but I don't know the prayers or the melodies All I can do is blow this whistle and hope that God will hear how thankful I am. Said Rabbi Menachem, come with me, Moshe. There are some people who have a lot to learn from you. I hope we will all learn from the shrill whistles, so to speak, of the shofar and find that we can be whistleblowers of sincerity ourselves in everything that we do. Shabbat Shalom.